the first step in solving trust, account, trust calculations in our statics unit revolves around being able to get your reaction forces from moments. Uh, so we start off with a basic truss here, which is really just a beam stretching across here. Notice the triangle in this corner on the left, point A, and that triangle represents that this is a pinned joint, whereas this one is a circle, meaning this is a roller. The pin has two reaction forces in both the vertical direction and the horizontal direction. That means that corner of this beam right here can't go up or down, can't go left or right. Whereas the roller supports it in one direction, it only supports it up. It doesn't hold it left or right, it's, so this thing is free to move left and right if it were to expand or contract. So, we're going to start with the pinned joint right here is our point of rotation. So I'm going to put a little dot there at point A to represent our starting point. Now, from right here we have two moments where we have one right here at 15 feet out where we have 100 pounds going down. We have another one at the roller that is in the opposite direction. The sum of those two moments has to equal zero. So they have to balance out so that this thing is said to be in equilibrium. So we're going to go about finding each of these, um, the moments at each one. So um, to start off here, we'll have our moment at the 100 pound force. So the moment at the 100 plus the moment at B has to equal zero. We see that they're going in opposite directions, so that these one of these has to be negative. We look at the 100 pound, it is clockwise. Clockwise means negative, so I'm going to put a little negative sign right there. Okay? So, the moment at the 100 pound force is going to be the force of the 100 pound times the distance to the 100 pound. That's negative. Plus the moment at B, which is going to be reaction force B abbreviated with a capital R and a B in the subscript, times the distance to B. Everything is measured off of this uh, point of rotation that we established from the beginning. So, our force of 100 times distance to 100. We know both of those values. We know this is 100, and we know the distance to the 100 is 15 feet. So I can just put those two numbers in here. I'm going to add that to the reaction force at B, which we don't know. So, reaction force at B, I'm going to leave as a variable. And then the distance to B. The distance to B, remember, is all still from the point of rotation, which we established as A. You could have chosen B if you wanted to, but I just randomly chose A. I always start with the pin. And so it is 20 feet all the way to B. And the sum of those two has to equal zero. So we have negative 1,500 foot-pounds plus 20 times reaction force B equals zero. So 20 times reaction force B equals 1,500 foot-pounds. I can divide out my 20 on both sides. And so then I can go to my calculator and I can do 1500 divided by 20. And I see that it will have a reaction force of 75 pounds at point B. So RB equals 75 pounds. I'm running out of space here, I apologize. So that is the reaction force at B. I'm going to go ahead and put that. That's in the Y dimension. So I'm going to come over here to RBY. And I'm going to put 75 pounds. Now, the next one up, I'm kind of working backwards here, is reaction force A. Reaction force A, well, the total downward force we said is 100 pounds. So our total up has to also equal 100 pounds. Well, if 75 is held up by B, how much should be held up at A? Well, 100 minus 75. 
So we need 25 pounds of force acting in the y dimension at point A. The reaction force X in A. Now remember, A is a pin, so it holds it up and down and left to right. Since there is no external horizontal force, there's only a vertical force of 100, there's nothing going left to right, there is no reaction force. Action, reaction, Newton's third law. There's no reaction in the X dimension because there is no external force in the X dimension. Moment at point 1. For us, at point 1, which is where the 100 was, our moment was 50, negative 1,500 foot-pounds. The moment at point B was positive 1,500 foot-pounds. And since we chose A as our point of rotation, there is no moment at A. Now, if we had chosen B as our point of rotation, which we could have, and it would have worked fine, we'd have no moment at B, and we would have a moment at A. So, that's an example for the first one. You try the other two. Good luck, and we'll check in tomorrow.